Hello, my dear friends. Let's make this beautiful dress. First, we have to take our measurements, but we will need to mark out the center of our mannequin, both front and back. On my mannequin, I have a rear center seam, so I won't need to mark it out. Since I don't have a one on the front, here is how I mark it out. We will need to pin three center marks. Most mannequins have two side seams. We just simply measure from seam to seam like so and find the center. We need to do that above the bust, below the bust and on the waist. In doing this, you will have the three points uh, on which you can pin the center line. After that, we mark out the next two lines, which are the under bust line, which is typically where the bra is, and the waist line. Both lines should be perfectly horizontal. To make sure that they are, we measure the distance between them and make sure that they are the same on both sides. On this side I have 11 cm and on this side I have 12 cm. It turns out that the waistline is raised a little too high on this side. What I do is just lower it down like so and make sure that it is 12 cm. Now this dress will be made as a standard size, which is the size 02. The same way I'm going to be taking measurements of this mannequin, you will on your client. So the first measurements that we will need is the bust. Mine is 80 cm. Make sure that you go all the way around the circumference. The next measurement is the under bust circumference. I have 69. Our next measurement is a waist circumference. Mine is 66 cm. Now look here. The next measurement that we are going to need is the center of the bust. The center of the bust is the point on the bust that comes out the farthest from the body. We have to measure out from one point to the other. How do we find the center of the bust? To do that, we must look at the bust from the side, and the part that goes out the farthest is the center of the bust. Of course, you can change the center of the bust. For example, if the bust of the girl is very wide, you can visually make a pattern to bring the center of the bust closer together. That way, you can make the bust looks visually less wide. You can also do the opposite by making the bust looks wider if it is too close together. My measurement is 16 cm, which is standard for this size. The next measurement that we are going to need is from the shoulder, where the shoulder starts to meet the neck. Uh, we start from that point, right on the shoulder, to the center of the bust. I have a measurement of 24 cm. Now, without taking our finger off the top and coming down to the waist, we get our next measurement. In my case, it is 44 cm. For the back, I usually take the seventh neck bone. It is easily found on a model or on a girl. Usually it is around here. We do this because the pattern should go across this area. So from that point I measure down to the waist. For me the measurement is 40 centimeters. 